hi friends today i'm going to show you how we can implement an image uploader in angular 8 using node.js and a db currently for this uh, tutorial i am uh, using mysql sdb and node.js and to file upload i am using multer and it's angular 8 version so uh, as you can see this is the page i have listing for the users and i have a page to upload the uh, to create the user and here you can see i have all the fields user email user password first name last name and photo so currently in this tutorial i'm going to show you how we can create an image uploader without any third party plugin so here you can see this is a photo uploader and it's you can see it's not at the default one it's designed uh, with differently normally what happened if we create any uh, input fi input type file uh, it looks differently in different browser based on the browser it looks like this if you open in IE it will look different if you open in Chrome it will be different so make it to make it same I have designed this one I'll show you that <clears throat> so if you see this this form is also having the validation and i have used form builder for this validation in this case uh, we have uh, email password and all the required fields test test see i'm going to upload a file here so <clears throat> okay let me let me upload a file here as you can see we can also see the uh, thumbnail or the preview of the selected image it's not been uploaded yet once it will be uh, uploaded it will be uh, placed in this folder so this is the folder where i kept the images if I click submit it will it will come here right and as you can see this is the same picture I have just uploaded so and in case we try to upload some other format uh, it will have the error let me show you that also say I'm trying to upload uh, one any other exe or let me upload the SQL file and try to upload this we can see only jpg png format images are allowed here and the thumbnail image is not showing so if you don't want to show this image in this error case it can also be done so let's come to code okay it's a simple form with the form builder uh we use the form builder for the form validation and as you can see this is the simple field with uh, email type and the validation rules if it's submitted and definitely when not going to show the message when user comes to this page first time right so once user will click on the submit button at that time only we will uh, expect that the error message to be shown right the validation to be triggered at that moment when user click on the submit button <clears throat> so uh, on this case if the email is invalid and it it's required that means user has not given anything any input data it will be uh, showing the message that email is required and if it's provided but it's invalid it will show email is invalid right same way we have the other fields too say um, password and um, first name last name all the other fields will behave like the same and here we have the photo field in this case what we have we have a input field and you can see it's a hidden field uh, which is having the function control name as photo <clears throat> so this is the <coughs> field actually on which form builder is doing the validation <coughs> and this is hidden it's not showing to the user and for the file upload and this is the validation right if if the it's uh, error required then photo is required and I have also one extra uh, div to show their message once user try to uh, do the upload within some 
um, invalid type of file at that time we are going to show the message that it's only JP, JP, jpeg or the png files are allowed here <coughs> and this is the uploader section it's different component and we have one event emitter here the output all right so let's go to this file uploader component so if you see on the template here we have a preview of the image that's img src and uh, it's only showing the 70 pixel of width i have this in css for this component and this is the input type text which is being shown on the input field on the on the ui as an file uploader section and this is the file actual file uploader field is this one input type file but this is also hidden display none right <clears throat> so how user will uh, upload file using one input type text so if you see here in the wrapper div i have one click event trigger click so it's on the input field as well as well as on the select button just beside that field let me show you that so this is the input field and this is the select button right so whether click on you click on the input field or in submit to select button this is going to open the selection window so how we have the trigger click on the wrapper div so what is trigger click trigger click is nothing but a uh, function which is just triggering the click on the uh, file uploader field which is the actual input type file field if you click here we are just simulating a click on this field and how we are doing uh, we have one view child property here file uploader on the actual input element actual file input element so when user click on the wrapper div just click simulating a click on this view child also so file uploader this is the view child right so uh, this is the file uploader view child and when user clicking on the trigger click function uh, gets executed at that time we are also uh, triggering the click on the view child element which is the actual file type input field this is allowing us to select to open the selection window so that's the one thing that's solving our problem to uh, make it same in the uh, in all the browsers right? so now if you open it ie or chrome or safari it will look the same in a design perspective and on click of that um, wrapper div basically it will also simulate the trigger on the hidden input type file field and that will open the uh, file selection window right now what will happen once user select a file we need to show the preview of the image right so here on change of the file we have that function select file so this is the select file now we are getting the file uh, file as an as an HTML input element and taking the file from that right so here we have the constant file and it's storing the file details selected file details and here is the thing that we are showing the preview we are using file reader and on load we are just assigning the image as a string the i can see this one as a string in image because only a string can be replaced right we can show the image only as an image img src so image is this one you can see in the in the view this is this, this one img src and uh, this uh, we are saying that to read as data url and we are emitting to the output right to tell to the parent component that our file selection is done in that case it may be um, parent component may want to do something some 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 function to be called right so let's see what's it doing and here is the parent component update component here if you see this is the output event so let's see what is this okay what is this doing actually it's uh, we have a form builder this is the user form right so let me show you that so this is the form builder we are generating the form first name last name email and giving the validation rule so like required email to be um, email field to be uh, email 
type of data to provide and this is the photo field that also to be required field and on select file we are updating the value of the form field with with the with the provided value the file is selected and this file is passing getting passed from the child component right. so and we are saying that uh, uh, we are saying to the angular that the something has got changed you do your own stuff by line this line right now the file selection is done preview is has been shown now user want to click on that field or the submit button at that time what will happen we will trigger a function which will be post data you can see it's a post data when passing the user form so what is post data doing post data will nothing but a place place to submit all the details right so here you can see we are uh, flipping the value of submitted true or false and here we are creating a new form data and with this form data we are appending all the details which are need to be passed to the api first name last name email and from where we are getting this we are getting all these details from the user form the form builder form and for the photo is the only different we are getting this as like this getting the photo dot value uh, because of we need to send all the file information uh, as an object not an not in string only the image file name will not be enough to upload the file in the server side right we need to send all the details of the file like the uh, uh, nc type multipart here we are uh, calling the endpoints with all these details we just appended and we are uploading that now if we are getting status as success then that's good we are navigating to the user listing page and if we're not getting the status success say we're getting fail so we are showing the message that's coming from the api end now come to the api end so that's done from the uh, ui side angular part now the api this user add so this is the user add section it's api endpoint and here we are using upload per single photo what is upload here upload is this one it's a multi object so we are saying the storage storage will be this one destination will be this one and once we are uploading all these files we are um, in the file maybe some space maybe some different type of character we may want to remove all those things right so we are doing this in this case we are removing all the spaces and joining with uh, dash and also we are removing all the uh, we, we are appending basically the current timestamp to make the file unique right so uh, user may want to upload the same image for multiple records so we are um, we need to make it unique that's why we are appending the current timestamp with the file name just before the extension right so uh, in this case <coughs> what will happen it will uh, upload the file in the destination folder dir which is dir for for me i have set it public images users right and uh, that is where the file is getting saved public images user and this is the image got saved here okay so if it's got uploaded it will send the file name and if it's got failed because of the uh, maybe the file filter maybe the file is not a mime type of em image plus png or jpeg or jpeg right and in this case we will be sending the sending the file type here that only png or this type of files are allowed and we are just returning uh, the callback here this this is this is the error message <coughs> okay now coming back to the api endpoint so if it's get uploaded properly so it will do the rest of the thing it, it will it will insert the details in the db and if it's get failed due to the mime type validation so it, here we'll get the message right we have just set this value here so we'll get this one also and we'll send this response to the front end as an api response with the status message status will be fail and the status message will be this one which one we have just written only png and jpeg and jpg format are out and this is the case we are handling the error and uh, this is the happy path we are getting the file name and we are having all those details we are just running the mysql query here 
once it gets succeeded we will send the response start as a success start as message blank and rows if you want to send something the rows right so that's the server end <coughs> so let me show you this again okay this time let me upload one uh, profile image of we need to uh, remove this message yeah it's got uploaded uh, it should be there yeah this one right so this is the one thing and here we can also create multiple type of thumbnail based on the requirement say we need 70 um, uh, uh, 70 pixel of width of any particular image is showing the front end from this admin side you are uploading the image and in the front end you may have two or three type of images with different different width to show so you can definitely create three thumbnail images based on your requirement right and keeping the aspect ratio maintaining that one also so this is the thing I, I hope this will be helpful to someone thanks everyone